soy is actually a very healthy, healthy food for us. It's a complete protein, number one, without having to kill an animal. And it has some phytonutrients in there that actually prevent breast CFCs, prostate CFCs. And if you have those, it's actually helpful. And the reason that's true is, for example, let's say breast and even in prostate, people don't realize that prostate is very much related to estrogen, but there is estrogen. So when they do, like, for example, with breast, they'll say it's estrogen receptor positive, progesterone receptor positive or whatever. But the estrogen receptor positive means that it's the alpha receptor. There are two receptors. There's an alpha and beta receptor for estrogens. So the alpha receptor, when it's stimulated, causes growth. So mm -hmm. if you have a tumor, it's going to grow. The beta receptor does the opposite. It shrinks it down. So our body produces three different estrogens, estrone, estradiol, and estriol. The first two stimulate alpha and things grow. The third, estriol, stimulates beta and makes them shrink. And beta is the estrogen that predominates during pregnancy. And the reason God decided to do that was because during pregnancy, the immune system has to be turned down a little bit so that you don't reject the baby because it's half not you, it's half foreign. So your immune system would normally reject it. So the immune system is kind of dampened during pregnancy and women are prone to getting lots of bladder infections and all kinds of problems. So estriol was used as a beta it's just so we don't have any problems with malignancies. Soy is also a beta. So soy will stimulate the beta and actually shrink to. 